Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. I am back for a review of the new show by Black China called Black China. Um, the Real Black China is what it's called. This is season one, episode one. What the name of this episode is, I don't know. If there is a name of it, I will insert it um, in the description box. You'll see what it is. Um, but before we get into the review, if you have not done so just yet, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down down and hit the notification button so you will know whenever I upload new content. So let me tell you, I have to be honest. First, I went back and forth with whether or not I was going to do the review to this show because I like Black China and I wanted to do the review um, at first and so I got the Zeus Network. Then I seen that like a lot of my favorite YouTubers and social media people are on there anyway and so I kept it. Because I wanted to see what this first episode was going to be before I committed myself, A, to doing the review for it, and B, for paying the $3.99 or $4 a month or whatever for it. And let me tell y'all, this episode gave me what I was not expecting at all. If nothing else, I knew Black China was going to come through with some fashion, because that's what she does. Black China can dress her ass off. So I wanted to watch it because I wanted to see I wanted to see her outfits, I wanted to see the makeup and the hair, and um, I I wanted to see the kids too you know I really wasn't expecting a whole lot more and then plus with it being on the Zeus Network if y'all have the Zeus Network anybody out there knows the shows are normally only like 20 to 30 minutes long anyway and so this one is 41 minutes long it was good I enjoyed it so let's not wait anymore let's get into the review y'all so, it starts off with Black China and her mom. They're in um, Black China's kitchen, and her mom is in her face yelling at her. Now, if y'all follow social media at all, y'all seen clips already of this where Black China and her mom were in her kitchen arguing. That's when Black China had on this, like, maroon little two-piece little thing. She had the body yaddy yaddy banging. I ain't even mad at you, Black China. She was rocking in that little outfit like it was some old-fashioned over shit. That's all right. When a bitch get her stomach right, I won't get up in that old fashion over shit too or I ain't even tripping but her mom Tokyo Tony that first of all time out let's get this out the way her mama is fucking crazy black china mama there's mama D crazy there's mommy dearest crazy and then there's Tokyo Tony crazy that bitch is crazy. With a mama like that, you don't need no enemies in your life. Because your mama is your enemy enough. And we're going to get into that, right? So her mama is in her face yelling at her, trying to sit like this, like letting her go off, go off, go off, go off, girl. So then the screen cuts to black, and it says 72 hours earlier. So... Um, China is at this spa and she has her best friend with her, Treasure. If you've watched China and Rob or Rob and China, that they, you know, little show that they had, you know, Treasure's her best friend. They used to work in the strip club together. I think it was Starlets or whatever that they used to work in. And she has been her best friend since they were kids. Like, they've been like thicker than thieves since they were little bitty kids. And then her, um, her assistant is there as well. I didn't catch his name, but he was cute. He was a cute little old thing. So, they're in this spa. China is getting some kind of Botox or Juvederm some in her cheeks to get her shit chiseled out. I thought this shit, now I ain't gonna lie for a minute, I thought this was real. But then again, I was like, mm, it's a little bit too defined and too, ge too gentlemanly-ish a little bit. The bitch goes and gets the Botox done to make that shit poof out to where it looked like she got some old Captain America chiseled ass rock jaw. That's what it looked like, a rock. A rock jaw. That's what the hell it looked like. It makes her shit look chiseled like a rock jaw, right? And so um, she tells them that her mom is coming out to visit her. Now, her friends know that she has not talked with her mother in a year since they had their last blow up. Now, during that time, her mama done been all on social media talking cash shit about her. Again, if you follow any kind of social media, you've seen it on there. Her mama has dogged her out on the internet, social media, and all of that, right? So her best friend Treasure is like, okay, you know, I don't have no problem with your mom, but your mom don't like me. And I would like to have an opportunity to talk to your mama and see why is it that she don't like me. And she's like, okay, well, we're going to see how, you know, how that go, you know, yada, yada. We can't make no promises with my mom because we already know how she is. Now, why? 
I can't help but notice while China is getting this goddamn thing, the shit looks painful. Like when they stick it in, it bubbles it up, and I guess it's supposed to settle and like mold in there. That shit looks so fucking painful. Oh, it looks so gross, right? Okay, so they sitting there while they sitting there. Treasure gets a phone call from her son's PO. Her son is 15, right? The PO says that her son is getting ready to get arrested. He got to school late. Now, under the rules of him being on par or probation, he can't be he cannot be to school late more than three times. He's already been late multiple times. They let him get away with it, and he can't have any kind of paraphernalia on him. He can't get into trouble. Yada yada yada. So, aside from him being late to school, he had paraphernalia on him. So, automatically. If he didn't follow those guidelines, he was gonna get locked up for nine months. He was 15. Treasure said he's gonna send he's gonna spend his 16th birthday in juvenile. That's gotta be some bullshit. And then on top of that, she said she just went and got him out on Friday. So the nigga had just gotten arrested prior to that. Just got out and then got arrested again. Treasure kind of feels bad though, because she says, Oh yeah, hold on. I drink some water. Alright, I'm straight. Treasure feels bad because she said she had got on him that morning, told him that he needed to clean up his goddamn room. She said she even texted him, went off on him, was like, look, you need to clean up your goddamn room. And so that was probably a reason why he was late to school that morning, right? And so China and her, you know, the other guy that said with them, their friend or whatever, they're trying to console her because, you know, she was crying. She was saying it's hard being a single mom. That wasn't her only child, whatever kids she has. I don't know how many more kids that she has, but she says she's a single mom. She's taking care of her kids by herself. Now, I don't know, you know, what's going on with the father. That ain't, it don't even matter. She says she's doing this by herself and it's hard. And she said every time her son fails, it makes her feel like she fails. And I felt so bad for her in that that situation but who I'd be in my son ass I'd be in his ass because even aside for fuck all of that with him being late for school why the fuck does he have paraphernalia on him like what did he have weed on him did he have cigars on him did he have a, a pipe on him like what the fuck did he have on him that's what you need to be worried about to hell with him being late to school and getting arrested for that yes I do understand that that's messed up but your baby boy he gonna have to learn because like China said when he gets older it's just gonna get worse and the older he get he ain't going to baby prison he gonna go to big boy prison and big, big boy prison he can get bent over in big boy prison he don't want to go there so maybe this is a wake up call that he needs now at 15 so he can spend his his super sweet 16 behind bars hopefully he meet a couple of homeboys they make a tight ass spread or something because i do feel bad for her i don't i have a son i would not want my son to go through that at all but she it, she doing her job as a mama hey this might be the wake-up call that he needs to know like hey look at the pain i'm causing my mama and and what i'm putting her through so I don't, I don't want to do this to her no more. This is a kick in the ass that I need for me to get my shit together. And hopefully that's what happens. But China tells her, you know, you're my best friend regardless of what. That's my godson. We've been riding together. I'm going to be there for you. And I will be the same way. It was, If it was my best friend and her daughter is going through some shit, I'm going to be right there till the wheels fall off. Because that's what a real bitch does. And I'm going to do that for my homegirl. So shout out to China for being there for her homegirl. It was sad though. Y'all, so Tokyo Tony ass arrives in the picture, right? She goes to this hotel or whatever because she says she don't want to stay over there at China's house because they haven't spoken since they last got into it. It's been over a year. So she's got some guy with her. I think she said his name was Rossi, and he was actually China's old security guard. I remember seeing him with, because you can't, he's a big old buff, cock strong, big cock diesel ass dude with a beard but shaves this part of his mustache off. So he got all this beard gang going, but then, and he even got a little bit of, of this, but he got this part shaved off. I don't know, it's real weird. It, it don't even look right. It don't even like, it don't, it don't, but hey, you do you. Big cock diesel Rossi, you do you. Please don't come after me, cause I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems. But um, anyways, Tokyo Tony is saying um, these ratchet ass bitches that surround my daughter gonna have to move around because I'm here now and I'm doing an LA takeover, Detroit style, and yada. On some real dumb, young, ratchet, dumb minded female shit. She says she's there to set the record straight with her daughter. 
What kind of record do you have to set straight with your daughter? You mean as a mother, you need to go and have a, a conversation with your daughter because y'all two have not spoken in a while and y'all are on bad terms and you need to get back right on good terms. And so you need to go have a conversation with her, but not you need to set the record straight with her. Like you said, like she's some bitch off the street. And, and regardless of what y'all going through, don't like dog, who, who, what mama says that about their damn daughter? So y'all, her mama is shady as fuck. She is talking cash shit about her. I mean, cash, 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 cash shit about her. She was saying that um, she misses her grandkids, but she can't stand Black China. The China gets on her nerves. And every other word she used to describe her daughter was that bitch this, that bitch this, this bitch that, this bitch this. I can't stand this bitch this, this bitch thinks she that, this bitch thinks she this. Steady talking about her like she just some ordinary bitch up off the street. Then you know what she said? Hold on. Let me put my glasses on for this because I can't even pretend like I can read my notes at this point. This heifer going to say, I was going to take China to court and sue her because I wanted to see my grandkids. Hell, why not? Everybody else is taking her to court. Yo, mama, this is, this is, this is this woman's mama saying this about her. You was going to take her to court. Hell, why not? Everybody else was. That's some fucked up shit to say. That's some real fucked up shit to say. That's some real fucked up shit to say. Then she goes on to say that everybody that's around China ain't nobody but clout chasers. Her best friend Treasure is a clout chaser. That everybody around her is fake and that, um... Nobody around her is real, and she's there to set the record straight to let her know what's real. Because ain't nobody else around her is real. Bitch, if you don't go sit your old messy trifling ass down somewhere. And I, I ooh, I hate saying that because you're somebody's mama, and that's so disrespectful. But, woman, sat down. Sat your ass down somewhere. You doing the absolute most. So China is chilling at her house with her homegirl, Treasure, you know, getting her best friend. And at this scene, you seen Angela. You didn't see Black China. Like, th this, I gotta say, this episode gave me, may, gave me a whole new perspective of Angela, aka Black China. Because in this moment, I seen a real, true, genuine side of her. Her and her best friend, Treasure, are talking. And they're basically saying, like, you know, the whole situation with her mom coming. And, you know, how does she think it's going to be? Treasure's asking her, do you think it's going to go well? Do you think your mom is going to receive you? Do you think your mom is going to be okay with you? You know, yada, yada, yada. And so she's like, she really, truly, genuinely wants to have a relationship with her mama. She wants to move past whatever is going on. Like she's crying saying that she misses her and her kids miss her. And she just wants to have the relationship with her mother that she's never had. She said, yeah, they've been close, but they've never been like real mother and daughters. Like her mother has never been there for her the way she wanted her to be as a mother. And Treasure has her own issues with her mother as well. China says, um, growing up, they used to always say, what would be worse, having a mother that's dead and not here or having a mother that's around but don't give a fuck about you? Because that's how they felt about their mamas. And they started breaking down, crying, y'all, I can't even lie. I started tearing up from that scene to just seeing both of them because they were crying and they were they were being transparent. They were being real. And like I said, that just made me gain a whole new level of respect for Angela Renee White because she was very smart. She's smart, though. Well, if you separate China from Angela, Angela is smart. She is very articulate. She's beautiful. She seemed like a cool-ass person to hang around. Her mama... You wouldn't believe she came from a mama, but then again, hey, a lot of bad come from, I mean, a lot of good come from bad, so you never know about that. But that's it, you know, that discussion that she had about, you know, her and the her and Treasure were having about the moms, it was really sad. It was really touching, and they said that they've always had each other to lean on. Growing up, they've always been there for each other, and that's what China says that her mom doesn't understand about Treasure, that Treasure has always been there for her. That's her best friend. She's always been there for her, so of course, she gonna be there. She gonna ride till the wheels fall off. But it is what it is. From that, I was, I was touched. I was touched. Angela, you touched me, girl. Y'all, so Tokyo Tony asks. So before she even gets to China's house, 
she's pulling up there and she already talking shit wow this how she living this the house for real and you ain't giving your mama nothing and you gonna come take a car away from me and you gonna come do this tokyo tony tells a story about how she um, China bought a car, car for her and I remember seeing that on social media a couple years ago or whatever She bought her car, but shortly after that they got into an argument again And I guess this must have been why they haven't spoken in so long And so China I guess she must have put a kill switch on that bitch because Tokyo says she tried to go out there and start it And the bitch won't start so China must have put a kill switch on that bitch, which hey The fuck you expect I mean I mean, it is what it is. I thought I said it'd be so. I mean, shit, it is what it is. What the fuck you expect? But, I mean, hey, it is what it is. So, before she even gets to the house, like I said, she's talking mad cash shit. China's in her kitchen, and this is where it picks up 72 hours later, right? So, Tony gets in there. As soon as she walks in, she just plops down on the cow, I mean, on the this little chair at the bar, and she pissed off. Highest level of pissivity. The bitch is mad. You can see steam coming from this whole ear. She's so fucking mad. When she walks in, China kind of smiles, thinking that she's gonna greet her. Because again, regardless, we've been arguing, we haven't talked in a year. We argued. I'm thinking you still gonna embrace me with love. Like, like I wanna embrace you. Her mother walks right past her, pissed off, mad, goes and sits down. China kind of had a smile, like a smirk on her face, like. And immediately that smirk went away when she seen her mom like, okay, here this bitch go. She, she in here on this bullshit. So they sit in there. China goes and she goes to sit by her. She moves the chair that was in between them, moves it out of the way so she can sit closer to her. And she's like, hey, ma, Tony don't say shit. Then finally she's like, okay, so what's going on? What, what the fuck am I doing here? Why am I sitting here? China's like, well, ma, I wanted to talk to you. You ain't wanted to talk to me. You ain't wanted to do none of this. Like, she immediately starts going off. Shit went left quick as hell. So, before it got too bad, China was like, look, hey, 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 what we not about to do? Y'all ain't finna get me evicted from some shit that I worked hard for, goddammit. I didn't have to fuck a whole Kardashian to get to where I'm at right now. And I'm got, I got baby daddy money. I got tiger money and I got Kardashian money. Y'all not about to fuck up this good thing I got going on right now and get evicted from this nice ass white neighborhood. So what y'all gonna have to do is get the hell on up out my property with that. So they actually had to take a break from filming for a minute so they could both go cool off and calm down, right? Finally, when they get back together, Tokyo still on 10. She just snaps and starts going in on China, yelling like, dog, she this close, lips are touching this girl's cheek. Spit all in her face, all yelling. I mean like a rabbit ass dog with rabies, yelling in her face, going completely left. And you could tell um, China was getting fed up. She was getting real fed up because finally she had had enough. She was like, look, you know what? You just haven't been there for me. You ain't been no real last mama, yada, yada, yada. And she's trying to keep it calm. But you could tell, China, whoo, if them cameras weren't there, they probably would have fist fought. Now, her mama was doing one or two things. Either her mother was in her face yelling like that because she crazy like that and she ready to, she TTG anyway, ready to fight. And so she was egging her own to see if she was going to get her to go there so she could act the ass in front of these cameras and kind of expose herself, or she was doing that because she knows she wouldn't do none of that. Either way it goes, China got fed up for her, right? She finally like, you know what, bitch? You get the fuck out of my house. I don't care. Get this bitch the hell out of my house. Because it got to a point to where Tokyo Tony started grabbing her on her arms. It was like, you don't listen to me. You know that? Like going fucking left. Girl to where China like, bitch. Get off me. Like, she's grabbing her, in her face, grabbing her. Like, China trying to hug her. Like, Ma, you need a hug. Ma, you need a hug. Calm down. Like, the shit was getting wild there for a minute. So, finally, China tells her, bitch, get your shit. Get the fuck out. Just leave, right? So, as she goes by her, China's mama takes off her shoe and throws her shoe at China. China picks up one of the bar stools and throws the bar stool at her mama. 
Then her mama's like, yep, yeah, bitch, you ain't shit, bitch. I'm going to fuck you up. Da, 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 da. China gets a glass candy jar, picks it up and hurls it at her mama, smashes on the ground, splashes everywhere. They trying to run and get at each other. At this point, mama outside yelling, going crazy. China inside yelling, going crazy. Then finally, China's over there. She's crying to her friends and her assistant like, this bitch is crazy. You see what she does to me? You see what she does to me? And it ended from there. Y'all, this episode was not what I expected it to be. It was good. I was here for it. I will be here to give you the review on it every week. The next episode seems like it's going to be good as hell. I don't know how many episodes there are, but in the next one, it seems like the friend Treasure is going to try to talk with Tokyo Tony, and Tokyo Tony gets in her face and look like they finna get fist to cuff with it, y'all. This was a good little show. Let me know what you think about it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Hope you like the review. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think. And um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.